Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to continue our little trek through how do we stop self-sabotaging our fucking artistic everything. Can we figure this out? Is this something we can do people? Come on. What we are going to be talking about is basically lack. All right, and what we decide to focus our energy on, okay? One of the things I hear from almost every single person who I talk to when they're having a hard time putting their books and shit together is there's this reoccurring thing, and it's something like, I don't have enough money to set aside to be able to write my book right now because, you know, I'm going to be working a bunch and, you know, like I'm going to need to take time off, you know, to work on this. And, you know, and then like the biggest one is um, I just don't have the time, you know, um, and uh, like in the Poetic Anarchy course, I've talked about this a bunch about how there is never time to do anything. You just have to do things, okay? I was talking to a woman this morning who wants to write a memoir. She wants to write her life story. And she said, I want to write it because I know, like, my life has been totally crazy. And I know that this book will help people who have had some of the similar experiences that I've had. And then I said to her, I'm like, well, if you don't write it, it's not going to fucking help anybody. You know, this isn't really the same thing, but what's that saying? The road to hell is paved with good intentions. I'm not saying that that's what this is, but it's the same kind of thing. Like a lot of times we want to write things because we think it will help people. Like we think like, oh, this is like kind of what I've been put here to do. You know, if people can learn from my mistakes, you know, they won't have to make the same mistakes I made. Or if people know that there's other people out there who have been through the same things as them, they won't feel so alone, you know? And this is all amazing shit to hope for and want to do for people. The problem lies, though, when your good intention is enough for you. Okay. And you're just like, well, you know, I really want to do this. And when I do, it's going to fucking help people. But until then, you know, like shit, I'm even going to read because this is a message I've gotten from almost all of you. Almost all of you who write me asking me for help have said something along these lines here. This person whose name I'm not going to say, I mean, we were talking for a bit, but then she said this. She said, I guess just starting jotting things down again. I'm a procrastinating ADHD mom. I got to find time, LOL. So here's the thing. What she did here, like some of you will go, oh, she's giving excuses. Okay. To an extent, but it's, it's deeper than that. Okay. So first she's downplaying what she can do. Okay. Cause basically I said, you need to just write the book. And if you just need to write like short stories or even poems about each thing you want to write about, do that. Okay. She says, I guess just starting jotting things down again. Okay, so first off, she's downplaying the writing of her book. Okay, how are you going to help people if when you talk about your book, you're talking about it like it's not that big of a deal and it's not that important? If it's going to help people, it's important and it should be looked at as if it's important. Okay, then she says, I'm a procrastinating ADHD mom. I got to find time, LOL. So what she does right here is that she's giving herself an out. She procrastinates. Okay, so there's her out. 
you know, like if she doesn't get the book done, well, you know, she's a procrastinator. So that's okay. Um, I'm ADHD, so that's my future excuse so I don't get this done. I'm a mom. That's that's a way out right there, okay? And then the dot, 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 I gotta find time. We'll get to that in a second. And then at the end, LOL. The LOL is the, the way to make that not seem important. The LOL is the... Here are my excuses, so the fuck what? Am I right? We have to learn how to change how we speak about our art or our art will always be a second class citizen in our minds. It'll always be the thing on the back burner that never gets done, okay? Now, she says, I gotta find time. That is the thing that everyone always says there's not enough time. There is never going to be enough time. She's writing me back right now. Shh, don't tell her we're talking about her. Here's the thing. Time, and again, this is in the Poetic Anarchy courses if you join the Anarchy crew. Time waits for no one. There will never be enough time for you to fucking do anything you want. Time never sleeps. Time will always continue to tick by. And you, every second that moves by, you are getting closer to your own death. Okay? If you want to accomplish anything in this world, you need to just fucking do the thing. Okay? Type heart, guys. You have to just fucking do it. Because there's never, ever going to be a time when time's like oh you know what fuck it today i'm gonna put an extra eight hours in the day you work on that book you do what you want to do i'm a mom okay i'm a dad i was a single dad okay right now it'll be a thing like well you know maybe when the kids get a little bit older you know maybe i could work on it then because just right now i don't have the time I was talking to a woman a couple weeks ago, and her excuse was she she was moving. So she put her book on hold for a year while she moved and got the house set up. And then once she got the house set up, she even had an extra room that was going to be her office. Then she said, my office isn't set up yet. So once I get the office set up, yeah, that's when I'm going to do it. Because right now I don't have an office. And I would really like an office, okay? And I said, well, why don't you just go in there and type? Well, because, like, I don't have the desk I want, and I really want to, like, decorate it nice so I feel good. And so I'm doing this thing. Everything she's saying, I don't have this, I don't have this, I don't have this, I can't do this thing unless I have all these things. Or you just fucking do the thing. You will always find a reason to why you can't do something. But the only thing that will make you do something is if you fucking do it. And you don't need reasons for that. You just do it. Like, okay, so you're a mom, you have ADHD, you procrastinate. There's all these things against you, okay? You don't have time. Do you shit? Do you? Because if you're shitting, I'm assuming, like, you're not cooking dinner while you're shitting. I'm assuming you're not, like, taking your kids to school while you're shitting. I'm guessing there's things that don't happen when you're in the bathroom and you're taking a shit. So, if you have that time, and some of you are going, well, yeah, but I use that time to check Twitter and Facebook and maybe watch a couple reels on the damn TikToks. Okay, Those things aren't important. So write your fucking book. Even if it's just a couple lines at a time. You know, I don't know how many shits you take a day, but I'm assuming at the end of a year, you could have a substantial amount of stuff written if you wrote every time you took a shit, okay? So you can always make time. When me and my daughter were living in North Hollywood and she was like... I mean, I fucking homeschooled my kid, and I'm not trying to go, I'm better than you, nana nana boo boo, or anything like that. But, like, I would wait until my kid 
was done with being the kids stuff. And then I'm like, okay, eight o'clock, you got to be in your bedroom. You don't have to go to sleep right away. You can like watch TV, but you have to be in bed and you have to like be ready because at nine o'clock I'm coming in and I'm turning everything off and you're, you're asleep. And then from nine o'clock till I passed out, usually around three in the morning, I was fucking clanking those fucking keys. You know, sometimes I would get up really fucking early if I went to bed early and I would try to get writing done before my kid got up. You know, it's just like, if you want this, you will make this happen, you know? And some of you might be going, oh, but you're kind of being a dick about this. And How many things have you made happen because you wanted them? Whether it was like, you really wanted that new top or you really wanted that vacation or you really needed a new car or you really um, needed to get your kids something for fucking karate or fucking soccer practice or whatever you do the things you have to do to get the things done that you need but if you keep looking at your writing and focusing on lack whether it's time money patience whatever if you keep focusing on that that's all you are going to get okay again this turns into one of those big fucking like woo like, if you focus on abundance, you will have abundance. That sounds kind of cheesy, but there is something to be said about that. If you live your life with a poverty fucking mindset, you will always be in poverty. Fake it till you make it. There is something to be said about that. And again, like, I can't remember who the fuck I was talking to about this, but Warren Buffett Someone asked Warren Buffett, what's the best investment you ever made? And he said, any investment that was an investment in myself. If I ever invested in myself, I knew it would pay off. That's the only investment that I knew would always work. So invest in yourself. Give yourself time. Give yourself the money, the space, the whatever the fuck it is. You just have to decide to do that. Time there, there's never going to be enough time. You have to make time your bitch by getting more things done than time thinks it can allow you to. Okay? I'm not trying to do some like tough love shit on you guys here, but this is the biggest problem. That's why every fucking writing book in the world will have all this fucking information, but all of the books, all of them say this one thing. Ass and chair, hands on keyboard. You have to actually sit down and do it. Do you know, especially in LA, do you know how many people have great ideas for a book or a movie or something? Oh yeah, I'm going to make this movie. I got this great idea for a script. I got this great idea for a book. It's all up in here. I just need to put it down on... Yeah, that's the problem. Every single motherfucker on the planet has an idea for something because every single person on the planet has read a book or watched a TV show or seen a movie. We understand the process. We understand beginning, middle, end. Okay? But the thing that makes writers from consumers of entertainment is the sitting down and fucking typing. You have to make yourself do that. You have to make the time. You have to make that happen. If you focus on the lack of time that you have to do something, you will never get anything done. If you keep thinking, oh, there's just not enough time in the day, there will never be enough time in the day. There will, there will be less time in the day if you keep that up, okay? This year, we got an extra day. It's fucking leap year. That's, that's time giving you a fucking cookie. 24 fucking hours. How are you going to spread those hours out through the year? Figure it out. Okay, just real quick, let me interject here for a minute. Um, I want to start putting in um, writing prompts during my videos. So what I want you guys to do right now is write a list of all the things that keep you from doing the things you need to do. Write a list of all the things that keep you from writing. Look at that list and look at the lack in that list 
and figure out ways to eliminate each one of those things. If you'd like to, when you're done with that list, put it in the comments down below and what you're gonna do to fix that. If you want more shit like this, I have over 150 videos in the Anarchy Crew. Click the button down below and you can join that. Run over to Amazon and pick up my first poetry book, The End of Everything. Um, it's available up there as a bunch of my other books are. My chat books and shit will be up on the new thing coming soon. And then too, like we have these Poetic Anarchy volumes. Those are poems written by people who were in the Anarchy crew. So if you want to check that out and see what that's like, those are over on Amazon as well. Okay? So, make time. Okay? Type out, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.